Hey guys, my name is Laurent. I'm the founder at Flexpads. I'm here with Dr. Yoko from ROSM, Regenerative Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. They have offices all around the Washington DC area. And what I want to do today, uh, Dr. Yoko, is I want to talk to you about the shoulder. I love the shoulder, by the way. Uh, what is the main kind of you know, issue that you see with shoulders? Why, why do people come and see you with shoulder issues? Sure, so sometimes you injure your shoulder. You fall, you get hurt, something, something but most people not. Most shoulder injuries happen gradually over time. What happens over time is that because we don't have the stability that we need in our muscles that support the shoulder, we start using the muscles wrong. We start going into impingement. We start uh -huh. overusing these muscles and not using these, which are setting the foundation. Right, right. Every time we lift our arms, we should be engaging our core. We should be engaging our back. Then we're lifting our arms. In a perfect world, it would come naturally. I see. But really, over time, we develop these patterns where we start overusing these. That leads the shoulder to go forward. It leaves the tendon to rub here under the AC joint and get uh -huh. very inflamed. We start overusing our bicep tendon. We start clenching of our neck muscles that's leading to pain, all because we don't have that stability. I so see. anybody that comes in with shoulder pain, we're going to look at them. We're going to assess them with ultrasound and find out what exactly is causing that issue. But a lot of times we're going to chase it down here and find other areas of weakness or injury that have led to this problem. So what exactly do you do? Like as a regenerative doctor, sure. how do you treat that compared to a regular orthopedic doctor or regular doctor? Sure, what do you guys sure. Do? So, I mean, we do all the same things that traditional Western orthopedics does, which uh -huh. would include calming things down. I don't really want to calm things down with cortisone when we can avoid it because right. although that decreases inflammation so you feel better, it is slowing the healing or muting the healing in some cases. And so over time, it can have a negative effect. Or you're just kind of like kicking it under the rug and you're moving forward and you're feeling better, but you're not right. fixing the issue. Sometimes it will not, and that's when we jump in and do these regenerative treatments, not just to the injury, but also to the old injuries, the wear and tear from over the years that led to this issue. I see. These would include treatments like prolotherapy, using a sugar solution where your body seizes an irritant and goes to that area to try and heal it, almost like waking it up and starting that healing process again. Ah. Plasma treatments, where we take your blood, centrifuge it, Throw right. away the red blood cells that deliver oxygen. We're left with the growth factors involved in healing. And then we inject that back into these PRP. Play the rich plasma, plasma rich in growth factors. Both of these treatments are using the growth factor from your blood. Finally, there are cellular treatments using your bone marrow, using your adipose. These are rich in signaling cells that cause a stronger, more potent healing reaction within the body. And with the adipose, there's also a cushing or a scaffolding to build on that we're transferring over there. Right. And so these are the range of treatments. Not everybody that comes in needs me to use their bone marrow. Not everybody that comes in even needs these regenerative treatments, but they need a plan and they need right. to understand what's going on. After that, what do you recommend your patients to do so they don't get back to where they were? That's right. Well, first we have to give it a chance to work. So you almost treat it like you injured it. Take right. it easy a little bit and ease back into things. We would have to see their physical therapist or trainer about a week later so that they can guide you back to full activity. As it's feeling better though, we're not done. They're continuing to work with their therapist and trainer on retraining the muscles. Right. We get used to these patterns. This muscle hasn't worked for years. Your body's not just going to start using it again. You have to train it. To teach That's it. where I rely on people like you to come in and help teach my patients. And everybody works a little bit differently. Some patients, right. you show them that exercise, they know they can do it every week. Most patients need a little help. They need a little extra check-in. <laughs> or we find that we start falling into a bad technique. Right. That's where it can be really helpful to work with a fitness professional. Right, and, and that's why like, you know, we're here because we have this four-week program, as you know. And in this four weeks, we focus on the shoulders, right? What we do are two things. First, we lengthen and we stretch the muscles that are tense, right? That are tight. And the second thing that we do is we reinforce and strengthen the muscles that are weak Absolutely. to give that kind of like you know a structure to 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 avoid being back in the same uh, chain about. you know of problems again. So that's what we do in that four weeks program. But what I want to do right now is I want to show you two of my favorite exercises that you can do at your home right now at your home office anywhere. You don't need any equipment actually. You need a band for one of them. But one of them is this stretch. Okay, you, normally you will have a corner over here. You put your arm and you you just kind of tilt your body to feel that stretch. A lot of times, I think like, you know, because the chest, the pec muscle is so tight, right. it just kind of rounds up that shoulder and we, we, we round up that shoulder. So you, you hold that position for about two seconds, release, repeat it again, release, and you repeat that about 10 times per side. That will open up the chest 
and will kind of help your shoulder get back into where it's supposed to be. The other exercise is more of a strength exercise, and this is what I like. I, like, I, I call it the abductor. What you do is you take a bed, you attach one end to the, to the other side of a, of, of a door, for example, make sure it's really secure or else it'll snap you in the head, <laughs> you know, it, it, it hurts. So what you wanna do, you wanna keep your elbow close to your body right here, and you just wanna bring that bend up. So this works all those muscles of the shoulder, your rotator cuff muscles, and it, it, it's, it's a great little drill that you could do at your home, and you do that on a regular basis, you'll relieve a lot of issues. So again, the program that we have, it's a four week program that really focuses on the shoulders. And what we do is two things. One, we lengthen the muscles, we stretch the muscles that are tight, and we also strengthen uh, the muscles that are weak. So you have a better posture and you avoid having problems in the future. My name is Laurent, I'm with Dr. York over here at ROSM. We'll see you soon. All right. <laughs>